Just now, Dr. Vijaya Venkat gave us the very beautiful concept of the ceremony which is being done in Kerala, whereby on a New Year day, in front of the mirror, all the lovely things are placed and the reflection of that has to be seen in the mirror to multiply the effects of that. Have we ever seen the reflection of our own self? Have we ever tried to connect? our mind and body. We are trying to connect our mind and body to the meditation. But the real meditation is trying to be with nature. Now these are the mirrors on the quiet water. What is seen below is the water and what is seen above is the objects. There are various things which you will see the reflection and as we are seeing these reflections on water, I want you to place your hand on your heart and feel the energy transferring to the different organs of your body. Please follow as I say the different or organs on which these energies will be transferred. This is a beautiful nature where clear sky is there, trees are there and the reflection of it on the water. This is the beauty of water, this is the beauty of nature and all these contributions have been sent by Dr. Kazikin to me which I am using it over here. How beautiful the nature is, how clearly it is there in the water, the reflection. Why we are able to see this reflection? The reflection is being seen because the water is calm. There is no ripples in the water. The surface of the water is absolutely calm. Today, in our human life, we are not able to see our real strength because our mind is not calm. Today, we are not able to see the effect of the positive energy of our body because our mind is not steady. There are a lot of waves happening in our body. There are a lot of waves in our mind. Why is it that? And because of that, we are not able to absorb the things. And that is the reason I am showing you this, that you can please check this and feel the energy. Now shift the energy from your heart. Shift the energy to your lungs. Put the hands on both your lungs. Why lungs? Because lungs is the prana shakti. Lungs give us the oxygen. Let us breathe this positive oxygen to our body. Transfer this energy to our body and feel the energy and feel our lungs. Let us detox our lungs. If we detox our lungs, we will be breathing more healthy. See the beautiful nature. Now shift the energy from the lungs to the stomach because stomach is the main important thing. Whatever we eat, the stomach has to give the energy for digestion. Let us shift this energy to our own stomach. Place your hands on the stomach and feel the energy getting transformed to the stomach. See the beautiful nature, how in isolation also the nature is working out.
This is the nature what has been given. Nobody else in the world can create this. Nobody can create this in nature. However money, however much money you put in, you cannot create this, you cannot buy this. It is only for our eyes to visualize this and take this to our body, with through our mind. As we are feeling this, as you are seeing this, please do the deep breathing in and out and fill yourself up with energy. This is an open eye meditation. visualization, what you can visualize, what you can think. Close your eyes and see whether you can visualize these effects in your mind and transfer the energy to your body. from various parts of the world, these pictures. See how beautiful it is landing down. What happens in case if this is disturbed? If this is, the water is disturbed, if the water is disturbed, the balance is disturbed, what happens? It creates a hurricane. It creates a tsunami and we have seen the effects of tsunami. Today we are creating the tsunami in our mind every day because of the negative thoughts. Can we create the calmness in our own mind? If we are not able to create the calmness, someday it will create a tsunami in our body. And part of it we are seeing it every day because of various type of health problems what it gets transferred in our body. So here now we are going to see how to balance our mind. What is very important is the mind. Mind creates the thought and these thoughts if they are positive it creates a positive energy in our body. So what is important is to have the balance of mind. This is, we have seen the story of still water. The still water should be the state of our mind. Whatever the water we have seen, the still water, that should be the state of our mind. The mind that is calm, serene, silent and performing the duties. Unfortunately, these days we observe this stillness of the mind to be very rare and this is due to the ripples and vibrations created by negativity, distractions and lack of control of our mind. And the lack of control on the mind. What is the reason for the lack of control in our mind? What is the reason for all the stress? Today, we are driven by various targets, business targets and deadlines. All of us in business, we are having this much of business we have to do, this much of target we have to do, so much incentive then we will get. And in that, we keep racing the desire. Today, we, want, we are having a cycle. From cycle, we want to go to motorcycle. From motorcycle, we want to go to car. From car, we want to have very big car and from very big car we want to have a helicopter, from helicopter we want to have a private jet. So these are the desires what people have. Today we have a lot of our financial commitments. In order to meet the desires we take loans and because we are taking the loans for buying the car, for buying the house, at the end of the month we have to think 
about the commitment of paying the EMI. So that EMI, after 20 years, always the BP starts going up. That the EMI has to be paid. Family responsibilities, children's education is there, a lot of things. Career goals, we want to be big, we want to be growing, we want to achieve. It's good. And the health issues. There are a lot of health issues which are caused because of the various type of stress. Our experience has taught us what is the origin of disease. There is no shop in the world which sells health problems. There are shops in the world which sell solution for curing health problem and one of the solution for curing health problem is Noni. Noni helps in curing. Noni does not create disease. Noni helps in curing. So one of the things what is available for curing our health problem is Noni. Stress like illness is not sold in the market. There is no shop which sells any stress. Instead, people invite this because of the behavior. Most commonly, when we are wearing a mask. Today we are sitting over here, we are in this conference. And even at our workplace, even at home, we are wearing number of masks. Mask of happiness, mask of being good, mask of being friendly. That you are my very good friend, but behind you will be doing this. Mask to hide the real self and live for the world. Today, 70% of the people are not living for our own self. We are living to please other people. We are there for working for other people. We will work up to 11 o'clock for some other people. But if you have to take your family out to a party, you have no time. You are living for other people. And this is what is causing pain and suffering and leading to disease. Disease is not bought from outside. It is created and created by our own self. What is? We are wearing different type of mask. There are two type of mask we wear. One is the mask which makes negativity in our body. When the mind is not wearing when the mind is not in our control, when the mind is not in our control, it creates negative thoughts. It causes pain in our mind. When it causes pain in our mind, it causes pain in our body. Pain in the mind gets transferred to the pain in the body. And when there is a pain in the body, it causes confusion, conflict in the mind. Confusion and conflict in the mind invite disease. And that is what we call as illness. So if the mind is not in our control, we are inviting illness. On the reverse way, when the mind is in our control, we have a strong will. We can think what is positive. Then we start creating positive thoughts. And when we start creating positive thoughts, we have control on our thought. When we have the control on our thought, we have control on the energy for our body. And when there is positive energy for our body, it creates positive vibration. And because of that positive vibration, it creates the positivity in our body which leads to wellness. So when you have the control of your mind, it is wellness. But when you don't have the control on your mind, it causes illness. So what is the thing that is required? from changing from illness to wellness. From illness to wellness, it is important to have control on our mind. And what helps in controlling our mind? The desire. You should have the desire to have control of your mind. From out of control to in control and to balance our mind, how can we do that? To balance the mind, there are four vital organs in our body and they are all controlled from our brain. The first organ which is important is the liver. Liver is one of the most important organ in our body because whatever the food we take, 
we need the liver to produce the enzyme to digest that food and only if the food is digested well we can get positive energy second thing is the kidney kidney is very important to improve the circulation third thing is the lungs what is the first activity we do after we are born as soon as we are born the first thing what we do is to cry and why that crying is necessary is because the lungs get activated and for that activation the lungs is the most important thing today none of us can say that okay i will not breathe for one hour can you say that okay i will not breathe for 10 minutes so breathing is very very important and the fourth most important thing is the heart it has to be the positive energy of the heart heart is very very important we should have a good heart we should have the willingness to improve the quality of our life so now we will see what are the main important functions of liver kidney lungs and heart before we go into the details of this as we are sitting over here what is important for us liver why is it important we are all people who are into marketing we are into career growth we are into planning but if your liver is not strong your planning will not be strong what does liver do liver helps us to improve the digestion so if your liver is not strong it will block the energy of your body and it will block the energy of your mind so what will happen is if the liver is not strong you will try to keep postponing the thing 